Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. In this tutorial, we'll complete our Art Deco poster we began in Part 1. If you'd like to go to Part 1 now, just click on the link below. Let's change some of the layer order. Grab the face lines and bring it above the hair glow. Then grab the original drawing of the face we did in red lines and drag it to the trash. Click on the hair layer to make it active and then click on the new layer icon. In this layer we'll create a double black border. Minimize the template and click on the rectangular marquee tool. Drag the rectangular marquee around the entire document and then go to edit and stroke. We'll choose an inside black stroke of 10 pixels. Press Ctrl or Command D to get rid of the selection. Let's make a copy of the border by pressing Ctrl or Command J and then click Control or Command as you click on the layer to make it into a selection. Go to Select and choose Transform Selection. Click your cursor on the middle point and press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option as you drag the top and side about the width of the border itself. To accept the transform, click on the little arrow or simply press Enter or Return. To fill the selection with black, press Alt or Option Delete. Press Ctrl or Command D to get rid of the selection and Ctrl or Command E to combine the two borders together. Let's rename this layer Border. Click on the New Layer icon and we'll drag the rectangular marquee one more time over the document. Transform the selection in as before. We'll save the selection and name it Inside Frame. We'll grab the base layer and drag it up just below the border layer. Go to the Channels tab and press Ctrl or Command as you click on the inside frame to make it into a selection. Then go back to the Layers window and click on the Layer Mask icon. This made a layer mask of the inside of the frame on the base layer. Now press Ctrl or Command I to invert the layer mask. Click the layer with the photo in it and then press the New Layer icon. Press Alt or Option Delete to fill this layer with the foreground color. Go to View and make sure Rulers and Snap are checked. Press Ctrl or Command T to call up the transform. Click on the ruler and drag out the line to the middle until it snaps in place. Then click on the ruler at the top and drag out its guideline to the middle as well. Then click Enter or Return. Click on the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Press the letter P to get your pen tool and click on the upper right corner. Then click on the bottom of the center guideline. This will draw a straight line from the point at the top right corner to the point here. Next, click on the top left corner which will continue the path from the bottom center point to here. To close the path, click back on the first point where the path started. You'll see a small circle that will let you know you closed the path. Open the Paths tab and press Ctrl or Command as you click on the path to make it into a selection. Click on the Layers tab and then click on the Layer Mask icon. This creates a layer mask for the active layer. Click on the empty layer next to the layer mask. We're going to fill it with a gradient. Click on the paint bucket and choose the gradient tool. Click on the foreground color and then click down anywhere on the background. Then click OK. This made the foreground color the color of the base. Click on the double arrow to reverse the foreground and background colors, or you could just press the letter X. Then click on the white box, and then click down anywhere where it's black. Then press OK. Press G to call up your gradient tool. Then click on the guideline, press Shift, and drag straight up. We'll create a secondary V shape. So click on the New Layer button as you press Ctrl or Command. Drag the guideline from the ruler about a quarter of the way down.
press P to get your pen tool and then repeat the process using these guidelines. To close this path, click on the top corners of the document and then on the beginning point. Click on the Paths tab and then press Control or Command as you click on the path to make it into a selection. Click back on the Layers tab and then press the Layer Mask icon. Click on the empty layer to make it active. As before, hold Shift as you drag up, but this time don't drag it up as high. We'll bring down the opacity of this secondary layer to 70%. We'll create one more V-shaped design behind the other two by repeating the same process. We'll bring down the opacity of this one to 30%. Let's open up the template again to refer to it. We're ready to add some text, so click on the character icon, click on the paragraph tab, and then click on the center text icon. Click on the character tab to choose your text. I'm choosing a font called Fiesta, which you can download for free at defont.com. I'll click on the center and type in James Cagney. I'll highlight it and slide the point size higher to make the text bigger. I'll adjust the size and reposition it and then click on the color, click on the blue in the template and then press OK. Let's minimize the template so we can see our poster. Click on the center guideline for our next line of text and then click on the character icon to choose a font. The rest of the poster will be set in a font called Nightclub which you can also download for free from defont.com. Continue adding text in your poster. Just choose fonts that embody the look and style of Art Deco. Type in Art Deco fonts in Google and you'll see many to choose from. Let's merge the hair glow and the face glow layers together. To do this, press Control or Command E. I think I'd like to expand the glow around the head and shoulders, so I'll press Control T to call up the Transform tool. To expand the Transform, click on a corner as you press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and then drag the corner out. Click on the hair layer to make it active. Go to Filter, Sharpen, and Unsharp Mask. The hair is a bit fuzzy, so we'll sharpen it to 73% with a radius of 4.4 pixels. Scroll to the top, click on the top layer, and then click on the New Layer icon. Press the letter I to call up your eyedropper tool, and click on the background to pick up its color. Then press Alt or Option Delete to fill the layer with that color. We'll let the color of the paper bleed through the entire poster just a bit by making its opacity 10%. The finishing touch will be to give our poster a paper texture, but first, let's make a composite snapshot of the entire image and place it on its own layer. To do this, press Control shift alt e or Command shift option e on a Mac. Go to Filter, Texture, and Texturizer. The Texturizer window will open We'll choose Sandstone for the texture, the scaling will be 50%, and the relief I'll choose 7. The light will be from the top. So here is our finished Art Deco movie poster. Using this template, have fun making your own using the face of someone you know. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.